This is number eight. You're gonna find the missing sides. These are all right triangles here. So we're gonna end up using our trig ratios. So this is just gonna be part one. I'm gonna do A through D. And in part two, I'm gonna do the rest. So here are your trig ratios for some reference. All right, let's do the first one. We have the angle here as 38. So here we can draw that person. From this person's point of view, we have that 17, which is gonna be the opposite. And we have the X, which is going to be the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse would be show, so which is sine. So sine of 38 degrees is equal to its opposite over hypotenuse, which is just sine 38 is equal to 17 over x. Now we can cross multiply to get our x alone. So it is x times sine 38 is equal to 17. We want x alone, so we're gonna divide by that sine 38 to both sides, okay? So x is gonna be equal to 17 divided by sine 38, which is approximately, if you plug that into your calculator, 17 divided by sine 38, which is approximately 27.6, if you round to the nearest tenth. Let's do B here. We draw our person here at the angle at 52. The X here would be its adjacent and the 15 would be its hypotenuse. This would be, which one would this one be? Uh, cosined, so that's the ka part. So cosine of 52 degrees is equal to its adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's plug it in. Cosine of 52 is equal to x over 15. Now we can cross multiply. So it is 15 times cosine 52 is equal to x. We can plug that into the calculator now. X is approximately 15 cosine 52 in the calculator is 9.2 round to the nearest tenth. Let's do C here. Here is the angle, which is 22. The 12 would be its hypotenuse and the X would be adjacent. This would be your cosine. Cosine of 22 degrees is equal to its adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of 22 is equal to adjacent, which is x. The hypotenuse is 12. Cross multiply, that gets you 12 times cosine 22 is equal to x. So x is approximately, we can plug that into the calculator, 12 cosine 22, which is 11.0 one if you round to the nearest tenth. Let's do the last one for right now, which is D. We put the person here at the angle of 26. We label X as the hypotenuse and the 17 as the opposite. This would be sine. So sine 26 degrees is equal to its opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of 26 is equal to 17 over X. We cross multiply, so x times sine 26 is equal to 17. We're trying to get x alone, so we're gonna divide sine 26 to both sides. x is equal to 17 divided by sine 26, which is approximately, if you plug that into the calculator, 17 divided by sine 26, which is approximately 38 Point eight. if you round to the nearest tenth. All right, so there you go. This is just the first part of eight.